Handel's Messiah was originally an Easter offering. It burst onto the stage of Music Hall in Dublin on the 13th of April, 1742. The audience swelled to a record 700 as ladies had heeded the pleas by management to wear dresses without hoops in order to make room for more company. The recording you hear today was made during the coronavirus pandemic. Westminster offers you Handel's Messiah, part the second and part the third for Palm Sunday and Easter day of 2021. Many often hear part the first again and again, but I'm so glad that we are able to offer this music, unfortunately less played than our familiar Christmas portion and of course the Hallelujah Chorus as a bit of light during this time. We are also recording part the first to be released during Advent of 2021. A sense of humanity imbues this music, a point often made by those who compare Handel to Bach. Where Bach's oratorios exalted God, Handel was more concerned with the feelings of mortals. Even when the subject of his work is religious, Handel is writing about the human response to the divine. Nowhere is this more apparent than in Messiah. The feelings of joy you get from the Hallelujah Chorus are second to none. And how can one resist the Amen Chorus at the end? It will always lift your spirits if you're feeling down. In re-immersing myself in this glorious music, these texts have again infiltrated my every being. And I know this music and these texts will be with you long after you finish listening. Thank you for joining us today.
Thank you for joining us for today's Westminster Presents program. To ensure concerts and presentations like this are able to continue, please visit wpcbuffalo.org FOM to make your donation to our Westminster Friends of Music and to learn more about worship, music, and the arts here at Westminster. All presentations are also archived on Facebook and YouTube. Please like and subscribe to these pages so you are notified of our latest happenings. Again, thank you for joining us and for your continued generosity.